Hello and welcome to my channel, The Blessed Physicist. We have already completed two of the uh, examples of Lagrange equation of motion and now we are going to proceed with third. Before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Okay, so if you remember, in the simple pendulum example, This simple pendulum moves on a circle, but here in this example of spherical pendulum, this bob is constrained to move on a sphere rather than on a circle, hence the name spherical pendulum. And the position of the bob is depicted by phi and theta. It is not depicted by R because R has to remain fixed since it is the length of the string. So uh, the location of the bob will be depicted by phi and theta. Theta is the angle between the, uh, the string and the z axis and phi is the angle between x axis and the string. Okay. Okay, so we already know the steps to be followed to calculate equation of motion using Euler-Lagrange equation. Our first step is to calculate kinetic energy. Second step is to calculate potential energy. Third step is to calculate L, which is T minus V. Fourth step is to calculate the quantities that are included in Lagrangian equation that is curly L by curly Q J dot and curly L by curly Q J and the fifth step is to substitute these quantities back into Euler Lagrange equation which is d by dt of curly L by curly Q J dot minus curly L by curly Q J and after solving this we are going to get our equation of motion so let's start uh, the first step is to calculate kinetic energy we know that kinetic energy is half m v square or we can say it is equal to half m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square uh, if we consider velocity in all the uh, directions okay now uh, we have to calculate a kinetic energy and potential energy in terms of r theta and phi and not in terms of x y and z okay so we have to uh, calculate for x dot square y dot square z dot square and substitute back into here okay so let's start with it we know that the transformation equations from a cartesian coordinates to spherical polar coordinates are x is equal to r i'm sorry x is equal to r sine theta cos phi y is equal to r sine theta sine phi z is equal to r cos theta so we are going to calculate x dot y dot and z dot from this so x dot will be equal to r cos theta r is a constant so it will not change with time uh, sine theta will be cos theta uh, theta dot theta dot okay because theta varies with time okay minus r sine theta sine phi phi dot we have applied product rule here uh, pause the video and check if i'm correct i am correct i know that but you check it uh, now y dot will be equal to r cos theta sine phi theta dot just try to do it with me so that you get to know what i'm doing I, I have just applied the product rule of differentiation nothing else x dot is dx by dt so you have to differentiate it with time okay so next is plus r sine theta cos phi phi dot z dot is equal to minus r sine theta theta dot okay now we have to calculate x dot square y dot square and z dot square so x dot square is equal to r square cos square theta cos square phi 
थीटा डॉट स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा साइन स्क्वायर फाइव फाइव डॉट स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी दैट इज प्लस टू आर स्क्वायर साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा साइन फाइव कॉस फाइव थीटा डॉट फाइव डॉट राइट Oh, sorry. With the negative sign, this will be negative because there is a negative sign here. Okay. Next, we have to calculate y dot square. Let us calculate it here. Uh, now, let me write y dot for you. Y dot is equal to r cos theta sine phi theta dot plus r sine theta cos phi phi dot. so our y dot square will be equal to r square cos square theta sin square phi theta dot square plus r square sin square theta cos square phi phi dot square do it with me so that you understand each and every step plus 2 r square sin theta cos theta sin phi cos phi theta dot phi dot okay next our z dot was minus r sin theta theta dot so our z dot square will be equal to r square sin square theta theta dot square we have to calculate kinetic energy t which is equal to half m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square so we have to add all the three quantities that is x dot square y dot square and z dot square so what we get by adding them notice that this third term in y dot square and this term in x dot square are same except for the sign so this will cancel with this okay when we add them so x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square will be equal to let us do it side by side so that you understand will be equal to r square cos square theta cos square phi theta dot square plus r square sin square theta sin square phi phi dot square plus r square cos square theta sin square phi theta dot square plus r square sin square theta cos square phi phi dot square plus r square sin square theta theta dot square now let us solve it let us again solve it side by side so uh we have theta dot square here in this term and theta dot square here in this term so let us take r square cos square theta and theta dot square common from these two terms and r square sin square theta phi dot square a uh, common from these two terms okay so let me write it x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square becomes equal to r square cos square theta theta dot square cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1 plus r square sin square theta phi dot square and sin square phi plus cos square phi is equal to 1 plus our last term r square sin square theta theta dot square okay let us take r square theta dot square common from these two terms okay so we get r square theta dot square plus r square sin square theta phi dot square okay so we have to substitute this into our equation of kinetic energy so t becomes equal to half m 
आर स्क्वायर थीटा डॉट स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर थीटा फाइव डॉट स्क्वायर यू कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी डिरेक्टली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बट आई प्रेफर सॉल्विंग इट बिकॉज आई कॉन्ट रिमेंबर इट एज इट इज आई देर आर मेनी चांसेस ऑफ मेकिंग अ मिस्टेक वाइल रिमेंबरिंग दैम सो इट्स बेटर टू सॉल्व एंड शो इट टू द एग्जामिनर दैट यू नो इट हाउ वी हैव टेकन इट आउट ओके जी सो वी हैव ऑप्टेन्ड काइनेटिक एनर्जी टी नाउ लेट अस कैलकुलेट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वी ओके वी इज इक्वल टू एम जी एच लेट अस सी आर डायग्राम अगेन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आर डायग्राम आर हाइट इज दीट एक्सेस सो इफ यू ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट हाइट इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर and theta which is the angle between the z axis and the um, string so let us let me draw this bob here so that it becomes more easy for you to understand so if the bob were here then our um, height will be equal to r cos theta so we will write v is equal to mg z is equal to mg r cos theta okay so let us uh, come to our third step our third step is to calculate lagrangian l which is equal to t minus v uh, so l is equal to half m r square theta dot square plus r square sin square theta phi dot square minus mg r cos theta because this is our potential energy so l will be equal to half m r square has been taken out common theta dot square plus sin square theta phi dot square minus mg r cos theta so our fourth step is to calculate the quantities that are included in euler lagrange equation now uh, here we have a change uh, in the previous two examples there was only one generalized coordinate but here we have theta as well as phi okay so um we have to calculate curly l by curly theta dot curly l by curly phi dot curly l by curly theta and curly l by curly phi okay so there will be two equation of motion that will be obtained so curly l by curly theta dot is equal to uh, just try to calculate it yourself i am doing it too uh it comes out to be m r square theta dot curly l by curly theta is equal to m r square sin theta cos theta phi dot square plus m g r sin theta just check it yourself if it's coming out to be curly l by curly phi dot is equal to m r square sin square theta phi dot and now since l does not contain phi in it so curly l by curly phi is equal to 0 uh later uh, you will get to know the um, the coordinate which is not included in l is said to be cyclic coordinate so you don't have to remember it right now later on i will be teaching you all the stuffs okay now the fifth step is to substitute the these quantities back into our lagrange equation we have two lagrange equations now one will be in terms of theta d by dt curly l by curly theta dot minus curly l by curly theta and other will be d by dt of curly l by curly phi dot minus curly l by curly phi is equal to 0 okay so let us substitute for theta here 
So we have d by dt of m r square theta dot minus m r square sine theta cos theta phi dot square minus m g r sine theta. Okay. And uh, if we substitute it uh, for phi here, we get d by dt of m r square sine square theta phi dot minus 0 is equal to 0. So we have m r square theta double dot minus um, m r square sine theta cos theta phi dot square minus m g r sine theta is equal to zero and um, m r square d by dt of sine square theta phi dot is equal to zero so these two are the required uh, equation of motion for spherical pendulum before you leave please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as i upload a new video